Happy fr- Happy Thursday. Thursday. See, I get, I'm getting Jumping a little ahead myself. of myself. Exactly. <laughs> happy Thursday, Tallahassee. Welcome to this edition of Four FBC Weather. I'm Student Meteorologist Troy Fields, and I'm Raquel Nakora. <laughs> And we're just going to start off with just talking about all the ice storms that's hitting the nation right now. Luckily for us, we're not seeing any of that snow. Yeah, so we're seeing all these warm summer-like temperatures, Raquel, which actually light. Because me being from New York, I can get a little bit sick of the cold weather. So being here in Tallahassee is a refreshing sight. Yeah, at least you don't have to worry about carrying an ice scraper here in Tallahassee. Yeah, yeah, well. (laughs) Well, other parts of the country, though, are seeing the effects of that ice storm. Yes, and the bulk of the ice storm is going to take place tonight into tomorrow morning, where it's expected to reach peak intensity. Yeah, so if you do have travel plans, you might want to reschedule. I do not... uh, I do not recommend traveling tonight. Icy roads are a main concern of traveling, especially during these ice storms. And later on in the segment, Raquel and I are going to explain to you just the how to survive during an ice storm, particularly with the power outages, because just to give you a brief update will be happening. You know, ice, it could get kind of dangerous on the roads, where yes. it could lead to travel problems. And just how much intensity the storm has. Many areas are going to see at least half an inch of snow tonight. And we're going to take more over, or we're going to talk more about that during tonight, or today's overview. So how's it looking out there, man? Looking pretty hot for our area right now, Raquel. When you see for the satellite radar, you see those storms starting to make its way in Tallahassee, which is why we still have a 20% chance of rain for our um, Big Bend region right now. But it's like the tale of two cities. This week, it's warm weather. Next week, rain, and so it's be cold temperatures. But for right now, our today's high, we broke a record today. 82 degrees was our high. It didn't update on the map, but we did break our high. We made for a very hotter day than it was for the past couple of days. And for weather headlines, there is a story on, this, on the weather headlines. It was a foggy morning this morning, like it will be for next morning. War temperatures will continue on throughout the, um, throughout the week, and weekend showers are to be expected. But when you see, um, when you go out tonight, make sure you stay ready. And for tonight, see on um, 64, return of the fog. It's going to be a warm overnight night, so um, shorts and a short sleeve shirt is a very good idea. Now send it back to the desk. Thank you, Jay. Now we did break that record high today in Tallahassee. Yes, 82 degrees. Yes, and that our, was, that was um, just topping off at 81 back in 1983. All the way that that far back, Raquel, 1983. Yeah. Back in the 80s. And other parts of the country are seeing record lows. I mean, we're at record high, but uh, the rest of the nation is seeing those record, record low temperatures. Mm-hmm. Denver, Colorado. Get this, guys. Get this. Wait for it. Negative 15 degrees. Below zero. Below wow. zero in Denver. Woo, wow. <laughs> and we complain about just reaching temperatures in the 40s here in Tallahassee. <laughs> well, in Tallahassee, I'm just glad that we're not seeing those cold conditions because we got... Pictures. We got 50 below degrees on Tallahassee. There's no telling what we would do. Yes, and that record was actually, that broke the record set back in 1972. See, we just keep going back with these cold temperatures, Raquel, but let's take it off of Shane, who's going to give you a look at your local. Thanks, guys. From stories of record lows to record highs here in Tallahassee, that's right, today we saw 82, which is a record surpassing 81 set in 1983. And we saw an above average low once again of 65, almost above 20 degrees above our average low for this time of year. Bring it back to where we are right now in the capital city. It's 76. It's mostly cloudy. And the dew point is 63. So it's humid, but it's not as humid as it has been recently. It'll get more humid when fog starts rolling in this evening. Let's broaden our scope. Look at our neighbors in the Big Bend region. It's 79 in Bainbridge, 72 in Thomasville and 79 in Valdosta, and down there in the forest, 73 in Apalachicola. So you can see it's uniformly 70s across the panhandle of Florida right now. And the winds tell an interesting story too. They're all southerly, that is to say they're pointed north. And that's uh, as we are part of a warm sector of a weather uh, system moving through the region right now. Let's look at this satellite and radar, and we can kind of give you an idea of what's going on. Clouds are coming in and out of the region today, just light clouds broken up, making for some pretty skies as the the whole southeast region of Florida sits in the warm. But we're not going to stay that way for very long. This cold front is going to come in. We'll see it move in 
over the weekend. Let's break this down for you. So that low pressure system you see inching its way toward us as we have a foggy and then warm Friday. So we're going to see more of the same as we have this week, talk about the fifth in a line of foggy then warm days. And then on Saturdays where things are going to get shaken up a little bit as that cold front finally arrives on our doorstep, bringing with it, well, not too much colder temperatures as we might expect, certainly increased chances of precipitation. We'll see some rain, not much, but it will be present. So what is it going to do tonight here in Tallahassee? Here's what it's going to do. We're going to get down to 64 degrees, and that fog will be once again knocking on our door. So be sure to exercise caution. Keep those headlights on bright as you drive around. Give yourself extra time in case any wrecks have occurred out on the roadway. And then tomorrow, more of the same warm, warm, warm. It's going to get up to 79 degrees, once again touching on the edge of 80 degrees and the fog will linger, but it'll burn off once the sun pokes out, giving us another warm afternoon. Not quite so warm, though. We're going to expect a little bit more cloudiness than we had the last few days. And for the seven days to follow, well, there's that chance of rain, 30% on Saturday, more for the western regions of our viewing area, with a high of 75, a little bit cooler. And then we're getting right back up there for the end of the weekend, then cooling down when the more sharp cold front comes through on Monday and Tuesday, bring us more rain and cooler temperatures. Look at that, a high of 59 on Wednesday. Let's send it off to Troy now for the Southeast. All right, thank you, Shane. And we're gonna take a look at just what today's highest temperatures were today. And as you can see across much of the Southeast, really balmy, 81 degrees for high temperature, of actually it's 82 degrees in that. And the same goes for Montgomery and a lot of cities in the southeast actually broke record highs days and you know, look at that 60 degrees today for a little while but that quickly dropped as we'll show you in just a second with our current conditions you can see of almost 34 degree drop in temperatures that is you know pretty amazing for that temperature change but as far as the eastern section which is the united states still really really warm 73 degrees is the current temperature in tallahassee and we'll be continuing to see these really mild temperatures for the next couple of days at the very least. But I want to spend some time to show you what's going to be going on over the next few days. As you look ahead at your satellite, and remember, you can see that not much in the way of action going on across eastern sections of the southeast. We do have a little bit of pop showers here and there, particularly around north sections of Atlanta. But you can barely make it out. But across sections of Oklahoma and Arkansas, they're seeing wintry precipitation. Precipitation basically is different forms of moisture in the atmosphere in the form of snow, rain, and sleet and that will be the case going on over the next few days i'm going to show you that in just in a minute we do have some warnings and watches to tell you about and we see these dark purple and blue colors the purple means that we do have wind ice storm warnings and an ice storm warning basically is that the possibility or in the case that the freezing rain that falls from the, su the sky what happens is that you have warm the uh, upper levels of the atmosphere are very warm and when you get that moisture fall into the cold layers of surface that comes up as freezing ra rain and that leaves the potential for ice and that can make road travels very dangerous and we're going to show you that in your future catch to see you that the low pressure will be coming on across the east and that's and going towards Friday afternoon that will continue to progress eastwards and we're still going to be in the clear as far as the moisture but that cold front is approaching us especially later in the week so you know that southerly wind direction is going to draw in that moisture from the Gulf of Mexico so just be on the lookout for that, but tonight's forecast, you can see that more minus across the southeast, 60 degrees in Tallahassee, but still off towards the cold, off towards the north, with 31 degrees in Little Rock. And as far as tomorrow, tomorrow's forecast, it's concerned, we're still baking. Look at that, those <laughs> temperatures, 79 degrees in Tallahassee. And well, just Raquel, how do you feel about those warm temperatures? I feel really blessed right now that I'm not freezing my tail end off in, in Little well, Rock. Well, Raquel, that is something that is good to hear. And what's also good to hear is that it's been sunny out for most of the day yes. with a little bit of clouds in between. But we're going to talk about ways to protect yourself from the ice storm. Yes, we actually have some tips in case you are making travel plans for winter break or even just for Christmas up north. Here are some tips that you might want to consider. <laughs> Let's break it down, Raquel. Step one, we, if you're traveling out on the roads, make sure you have a half a tank of gas because, hey, if you're on the road and, it, and if you get in a slippery, you may find yourself in a dangerous situation. Yes, and if you are planning to make a Christmas dinner, 
You just want to keep your, temp your refrigerator cool, keep it closed in a minimum at all times, and just maybe you want to not use it as much. Yeah, but that <laughs> trim the front branches in your yard. But that Christmas dinner sounds really good, does it to you, Alex? Oh, God. Northwest, those temperatures are very cold. As a friend of mine would once say, bone chilling. We see negative six degrees in Billings, Montana. A little warmer off towards Seattle, but you can see this clear line that's kind of like a loop throughout the U.S. And that's where it starts getting warmer on the on the um on the brighter sides. Now you can see right here in the southeast where it starts becoming green and yellow. That's where that cold front is and the drastic change in temperatures about a 30 degree difference from Memphis to Atlanta. And that front's going to be edging its way towards us. In the meanwhile, a lot of warnings we have to deal with with this coming front. Right now we have a lot of ice storms including Pike County and several counties across Arkansas, Tennessee, maybe the lower valley, valleys of Kentucky also seeing a lot of accumulation of ice, snow. It's going to make travels quite the pain for the next couple of days and dangerous as well. I would not be surprised to see more airport delays and possible highway shutdowns as this system progresses towards the east. And also, a lot of wind chill advisories, as you saw earlier, temperatures starting to become negative around the north. Sideline radar showing a lot of sleet, snow mix, a lot of just wintry weather impacting Oklahoma, Missouri, and Indiana, and that's going to be trekking on towards the northeast and giving them some impacts. However, since it's warm in the southeast, when it reaches us, it's not going to be icy. It's still going to be a little wet, though, so we're going to have to keep our eyes on that. A little closer look, you can see the mix of green, pink, and blue showing just where that cold front is, the colder temperatures on the north side that's why they're seeing snow and on the southern side that's why they're seeing rain off towards the northeast not as action-packed however the action is beginning to creep up on them as it's beginning to move into ohio possibly impacting columbus akron within the next coming hours the northwest very clear bit of snow showers moving their way towards seattle and the southeast looking clear for now a little bit of rain moving up in savannah off into charleston south carolina it's going to look a little wet but for the most part, it's nice and clean. Right now, airport delays very clear across the much of the U.S. However, Memphis did see about an hour delay earlier. That has since cleared, which is good news for them. Tonight's forecast calling for negative 18 degrees in Billings, Montana. However, we're still seeing a little warm at 60 degrees in Tallahassee. Tomorrow's forecast, another warm day across the southeast and another cold day across the northwest. That's what it looks. But Raquel, what's it look like closer towards Tallahassee? Well, compared to the rest of the country, we are quite nice. We're at, we reached a high of 82 degrees. It says 81, but it actually did not update. The record, or today actually topped the record, set back in 1983 at 82 degrees today. And that's just because we didn't receive that cold front yet. So we're going to continue to see these temperatures in the upper 70s, as we're seeing right now. 73 in Tallahassee, 73 in Quincy, and 74 in Wilma. Now, in addition to us, uh, Dothan and Valdosta also topped off their records. It was 84 degrees in Valdosta and 80 82 degrees in Dothan. So just setting records all across the Big Bend region. And a part of the reason why we're seeing these warm temperatures is we're continuing to see the southerly flow. We're seeing six mile per hour winds in Tallahassee and eight mile per hour winds in Quincy. Now because we do see that southerly flow, that is responsible for us to see the fog we have been seeing for the last few days. Not too much rain at all. In parts of Atlanta, though, they do see a little bit of rain by Macon and Albany. And for us in Tallahassee, we're just staying clear. It's not until tomorrow and Saturday that we're going to really start seeing rain chances ra uh, raise up a little bit. For our future cast, this low pressure system coming our way will be responsible for us to see some rain this weekend. For tomorrow, though, we're going to continue to stay dry and see those partly cloudy skies. There will be uh, fog in the morning, but it will clear up as we head into the the rest of the day. For Saturday, that's when we start to see that cold front moving in. It's the weaker end of the cold front, so we're not going to see temperatures drop too drastically. However, we're still going to see that fog early Saturday morning. And if you do plan to go to the beach or beach or boating tomorrow, the winds are going to shift from the southeast to the north as we head into the weekend. For right now, southeast at 10 knots, and the waves are going to be 1 to 2 feet. It's going to be lightly, moderately choppy, and you're going to see, expect some fog. For tonight, though, we're going to drop down to 64 degrees, and it's return of the fog. So if you do have those travel plans, put on those headlights, and make sure you just keep an eye out for that. For tomorrow, 
the fog is still going to linger, and we're going to reach a high of 79 degrees. Parts of the Big Bend region might actually see temperatures up in the 80s, but for us in Tallahassee, we'll just try to keep under 79, and it will be a warm afternoon. And we're going to continue to see that southerly flow for 5 to 10 miles. After this week, though, we do, we do see a start that increase in potential or increase in potential precipitation or rain, and we do see for Friday and Saturday a 30 percent chance of rain. For tomorrow, high will be at 79 degrees. And we're not going to see that dip in temperatures until early next week when that cold front finally moves out of the way and leaves us with nicer and cooler conditions. And now we're going to send it back to the desk with Tawana and Alex. Continuing on the topic of cold air, California is experiencing quite a lot of cold temperatures and record lows seem to be, bro seem to be threatened to be broken across much of the state. These records have been held for over 100 years. That's a really long time. And now... That didn't be cracked, just like a glass. Yes, mm -hmm. including areas such as Fresno, Los Angeles, even Sacramento. All these areas might be seeing big drastic temperature changes and that might also affect the crops over there as well. Yeah, those crops are being threatened by the freeze. So luckily, 14 for, like 15 percent, excuse me, of their crops, has, their citrus crop has already been harvested. So they have that going on their side for yes, a little bit. Yes, exactly. Any amount that they can get harvested would be really good news for them because these temperatures are quite the shocker. It looks like it's the opposite side, though, on the east, right? Yeah, it's scarily warm almost, isn't it? That giant difference in temperature is just mm -hmm. going across. Yes, yeah, scarily warm <laughs> indeed. However, <laughs> we're going to take it around to, with Jay, and he's going to talk to us a little bit more about those scarily warm temperatures in Florida. Well, we are in the sunshine state, and that's definitely true for us in December. Look at the temperatures around Florida, all in the mid-70s, definitely abnormal for December, so I'm making it for a little warmer fall into going into winter. And you see on 73 in Tallahassee, you do see 77 in Tampa, and you see down Fort Myers, you see 77 degrees. So like I said before, around Florida, 77 definitely is the case. And the dew points are definitely really close to the temperatures around Florida will make it very muggy, very not comfortable around Florida, but thankfully that will start making its way dropping down into the winter-like weather we should be seeing for December. When we see the satellite radar, you see little clouds starting making its way into this, um, the Tallahassee region and over in the central Florida, so that making it showers are definitely starting to come in a little bit more, making it a 20% chance of rain across the Big Bend region. And if you're in the south, you're not seeing much right now. But again, like that cold front will start making its way in, bringing in the showers like we're seeing up um, south on Tallahassee right now. Current wind speeds, you see the winds coming from the south into the north. Key West, you're definitely experiencing a lot of that, 12 mile per hour winds. Definitely, if you don't have anything loose outside today, you definitely saw it flying in the wind. And like I said before, that siren radar, you already started seeing those showers starting making its way into the north, northern Florida, bringing in some showers and some conditions that we like seeing called rain. And also, like I said before, Toss, you've already seen those rains, like I said before. There's a 20% chance later on in the rest of the week, and those rains will start making its way up in later on Monday and Tuesday. Now, like I said, for Futurecast Radar, those rain chances are making its way into our area. And you see, as it's, um, later on Friday and Saturday, the rain should start spiking its way back up into the weekend. So sadly, on Saturday, when we do play against Duke, if you're going out for the game, make sure you have the umbr umbrellas and ponchos handy. You might be needing it because there is a rain chance possible. And when we see tonight's forecast, you're going to see 60 degrees in Tallahassee, 67 in Tampa, 63 in Orlando, all in Bayburn region. Tonight, it is going to be a little abnormal um, lows. It is going to be hotter for, again, like in December, you will see hotter temperatures than normal. But that will start cooling its way down later on into next week. So we'll be seeing those cool temperatures like we should be in December. And when we see um, tonight, Tomorrow's forecast, when it slowly comes up, you're going to see the 79 degrees in Tallahassee. You will see 83 in Tampa. Again, like I said, it will be hotter um, degrees for Florida, but we are now at Sunshine State. I would definitely keep our name with the hotter conditions. But Tawana, you're going to tell us a little bit more about our national with our winter expert here at the studio. Well, I don't know if I'll call myself an expert, but I will definitely give you the rundown of what's happening around the nation in terms of winter weather. Right now, Texas and Oklahoma the sleet and snow not much rain actually falling in texas but there is some snow just around the northern portions of oklahoma hidden by the banner and right below that is sleet which is basically frozen rain it's falling down imagine being in that 
just frozen rain hitting you, not that, not a fun situation to be in at all. And if you zoom out just a little bit, move a little bit more westward, I mean, excuse me, eastward, you see that Arkansas is being affected as well. And that front is going to scoot its way east and bring us those increased chances of rain. Don't worry, no ice, no snow, just, just rain. And the slightly lower dew points and temperatures into the next couple of days. If you look at the water vapor, that moisture that is associated with the front is just slowly moving its way. You can already see the clouds moving eastward. And those clouds, you, I bet you saw them this, this morning, just a little bit of the clouds before, well, after the fog had dissipated and you were able to actually see what the sky looked like. Currently, around the area, you can see exactly where the cold front is. Behind the cold front, Little Rock sitting at 36 degrees right now. That is scarily cold for me. And 78 in Mount, on Montgomery right now. And Tallahassee, we're nice and comfortable at 73. A little bit warmer than average than we expect for this time of year. I mean, it is December and it is getting into winter, so it's not what you would typically expect, but generally warm conditions around the area. FissureCast radar will show slowly the moisture scooting its way east, but most of the moisture will be moving northward since most of the energy with the cold front and the low pressure system will be moving northward. So not a whole lot of rain expected, but there is the chance in our region. Futurecast for temperatures shows that around this time tonight, 68, 70s around the eastern part of the nation, but crawling this way is the colder temperatures as the day goes on. Tomorrow by 5 o'clock in Louisiana, they're be in the 40s and they're kind of sitting in the 60s right now. So that's a definite temperature drop on the way. And it's cold air just continues to move our way by Saturday and into Sunday, that's when you'll definitely see those colder temperatures. For tonight, 64 are low here in Tallahassee, generally around the 60s in the region, 59 for Valdosta and 63 in Panama City. And for tomorrow, 79 for our high. So absolutely warm temperatures, gorgeous temperatures. But for the weekend, Fog. Fog is still going to be in the mix. So if you're going to be out early in the morning, please remember your low beams and the warm temperatures will continue. And remember, for this Friday and Saturday, bring your umbrellas. Yes, those umbrellas are going to be very <laughs> handy, especially for all the rain coming in. But however, those warm temperatures are going to last for quite a while, right? Definitely until mm -hmm. Wednesday. Wednesday, when that second burst of cold air just moves through and drops our temperatures like rock. Mm -hmm. Then likely we're going to see the entire country with around winter-like conditions, which has been unusual for this time of year. Our November was really warm, and it's looking our, like our December is shaping up to be quite the same. I'm actually excited for the cold air to come. It's a little hot for me right now. Yes, me too. <laughs> Coming from South Florida, seeing the 40s isn't something that happens a little often. So when it does happen, I like to cherish it. I don't know about you, but... I will cherish it while wearing my boots and my jacket and preparing for that colder temperatures, for that cold front to move through and that increased chance of rain. Mm -hmm. However, it's not cold in the local area, and I'm sure Jason's going to explain a little more on that. Alex, I certainly will. Folks, I was on just before this. I was so excited to actually tell you whether I came on just before I accidentally did. But I'll get to the weather right now. It was actually 82 degrees today, a little slight miss feedback from the almanac. But the low is correct, though, at 65. And you can see the averages are well above what we've been seeing today. And that's a good indication, of course. We've been seeing a lot more warmer temperatures today. And that moisture, yes, that's certainly been there. Mostly cloudy, though, as a six, around almost 630, uh, 73 degrees, what we're looking at. Like I said, those clouds to give us a couple breaks early in the day, so allow us to warm up to that record of 82 degrees. And my, I can say it was a very warm day. I was sweating outside. I don't know about you folks, but I was certainly breaking out of sweat, though. But current winds coming from the surface, four miles an hour, St. Mark's seeing a southerly flow. And actually, I'm going to give you a cool little meteorology thing. So we see the winds at the surface are coming out of the south, but now we look in our, to our radar, and we see... The upper level clouds are moving from west to east. And when we see 
these different changes of wind speed and direction from two different levels, that's an indication of what's called warm air invection. In the simplest terms I can put it to you, a lot of warmth from the tropics and moisture. And that's the reason why we're seeing these much warmer temperatures and hence that fog. So that cool little, I could say, cool little meteorology thing I did sort of teach you. But zooming out to southeast, though, where you see where that cold front is currently located, just portions of Louisiana to Arkansas seeing some mixture while it's sleet and snow. But thankfully, back at home, though, we've only been seeing some cloud cover and some showers just to the north of us today. Hey, I, I can't say I really complain much about these temperatures. At least we're not getting that mixture of sleet and ice. Uh, I feel bad for those folks up north. But back to the dew points, though, back uh, once again, around 60s. We're seeing for most of the Big Bend region, and this is the degree coming. We're going to go down to 60s tonight, so we can get a good indicator when fog will form. 63 degree dew point, so we can see if it hits 63 degrees tonight, we can expect some fog to form into the Tallahassee region. The future cast, though, like I said, that fog is a big player going the next few days. We have that warmth and that moisture, and hence we have a couple fog advisories out again tonight and going to at least tomorrow and it's say Saturday until that front does begin to make its way through. And just around Saturday evening, stalls out in front of us. And we'll be seeing those chances of rain persisting at least until next week, you can say. But overall, the main thing I want to make concern of, though, fog, yes, that will be the big thing going to the next few days. So early morning commute, I'd say you certainly need to keep the low beams on. Tonight's forecast, though, looking only moderating to the lower 60s, 60 degrees for Tallahassee, and the 50s just up into north in Thomasville. And uh, tomorrow's forecast, oh, I would say, I would really say we'd probably hate 80 degrees, 79 we're calling for, but we could be hitting in the 80s again tomorrow, depending on how much sun we see, of course. Regardless, another warm day into your forecast. In the next seven days, though, look at this. Most of the chances of rain do stick around until we finally see that cold front make its way through, I'd say, Tuesday night. And after that, another cool down again. So once again, when are we approaching back into our forecast next week? However, we're going to go ahead and take up our last desk now of Tawana and Alex. Thanks, Jason. So, we all know that hurricane season ended on November 30th, right? Yes, five days ago. I don't think anything can form then though, right? Yeah, there's something in the Atlantic right now. Oh, really? Yes, they're calling it Invest 90L, and it's in the Northeast Atlantic, so it's not going to affect the U.S. at all. But, yeah, there's something that's forming afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> apparently there's a low off in the Northeastern Atlantic now. It's not hard to, it's hard to believe. However, storms can form any time of the year. They just like to form between the months of June and November. So that's when the season's there. However, we've seen instances when storms have formed before or after the hurricane Actually, season. Actually, a couple years ago, we went into, we ran out of names and got into Alpha, Beta, Gamma because there were no names after all. Yes, while. back in 05, we had Zeta, believe it or not, which is hard to believe. However, that seven-day forecast is looking a little easier to believe, especially near the end of the week, right? Yeah, when those colder temperatures come in and we have that chance of rain on Tuesday for 50%, but 30% chance this weekend. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, those temperatures around Wednesday forecast not even to reach 60. No, but if you really like us and like this show, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and watch us on Livestream.com slash FSU Weather. Also, make sure to tune in tomorrow for our last show of the 2013 fall semester. I'm studio meteorologist Alex Cordero. And I'm Tawana Andrew. Have a nice night.